Hello, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to explain why move and add are sometimes greyed out when you try to import images into Lightroom. Hello, I'm Ian M. Butterfield, and welcome to this video. Now, if this is the first time you've uh, seen one of my videos, please take this opportunity to subscribe and hit that uh, bell button so you don't miss future updates. Uh, this time, I want to talk about a subject that I've, uh, I've come across a couple of times, which is a misunderstanding on um, the import dialog box in Lightroom. So, as you can see here, we've got four options at the top. Now, this isn't really the time to go into the full detail of what these options actually do, uh, but uh, copy as DNG just copies the files and creates DNG versions of them. Copy just finds the file where you've said and uh, creates a, a duplicate of it um, and adds it into the database. Move, as the name says, um, says will actually move the file from its original location to the new location that you specify and add will add it where it is. Now the problem that some people have and get confused about is why move and add are sometimes greyed out and sometimes they're available. Well the answer is quite simple really. If you're importing from a memory card as I am in this case. You can see over here on the, uh, the left hand column that um, I've got a card um, and the usual structure, DSIM, uh, etc. down there. Now when you're importing from a card, it doesn't make sense to add them in that location if you think about it because the card's not going to live in your computer. So there's no point in adding them into the database and saying, leave the images on the card, and that's the only copy of them. It just doesing't make sense. So Lightroom protects you from that by graying the option out. Similarly with move, that might make sense in that you want them taken off the card, put onto the computer, but actually, let's think about this. Uh, really, when you take something off a card, you want to make sure it's gone over before it's deleted off that memory card because that's at that point it is unless you have a dual card um, camera that's the only place you've got that image so copy makes more sense and then you format the card in your camera again afterwards so that's why they're normally grayed out it's because you're importing from a card if you are importing from um, a folder so let's say I wanted to import these photos from La Palma this is on my hard drive I've already put them there so now all four options are available to me I can copy them as DNG files I can just copy them to a new location where and add them to the catalog but most importantly move and add are now available I can move them from where they currently are to the place that I want them on the computer or I could add them in situ so they're already in the right place just let Lightroom know about these images and let Lightroom manage them where they are. Now the problem that some people have been seeing and this is why I've created this video is even though they are not importing from a memory card those two options are greyed out so why would that happen? Well, there's a number of reasons why it could, but the most common two reasons are either uh, the drive is read-only for, re for some reason, uh, which might happen because of the security permissions on the, on the drive, or it could be that basically there is an error on that drive and that uh, one of the common things that happens when you get an error with a drive is that the security credentials get all screwed up. So Lightroom thinks it can't um, handle those images, it can't do what it needs to do with them in situ, so it greys them out, it thinks and behaves as though it's importing from a memory card. Now if you've got the latter problem where it's the security the security credentials that are all messed up, you can solve that by running a check disk or uh, 
checking the drive for errors. Now, if you want to know how to do that, what you need to do is have a look at the, uh, uh, the companion video to this one where I go through the tools uh, that you need to know for that. And you'll find the link for that up, uh, up here somewhere, I should think. Um, so that's the reason why. And the other video, the part two, if you like, will tell you how to cure the problem if you've got the problem on a hard drive. So thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get uh, properly notified of all new updates on this channel. And uh, until next time, keep making great images. And thanks for watching. This has been an in-studio video presentation by Ian Embleton content and photographs are copyright in and field and may not be reproduced without prior permission. For more information including how to subscribe to this and other videos please visit www.ians-studio.co.uk forward slash videos. Thank you.